vigilance. Speaking of order and righteous wrath to some, a symbol of revenge to others. I screwed up, sir. I had the bogey in my sights and I just fumbled the controls. Pardon? Don't beat yourself up, kid. <clears throat> they were gonna know we were here. Excuse me. Oh. Hello. Okay, hello. Yes? Good. Is that it? Is that Crix's legacy? <sighs> Amazing. Ensign, take this and enter it into the data core analyzer. I'm on it, sir. You see, Lieutenant? I told you he wouldn't let us down. I have to admit, I'm impressed. Encrypted or not, it's quite a lot of money to be carrying around. The temptation must have been excruciating. <laughs> it just so happens we did. And with all that money you're carrying, can you really blame us? You could have set yourself up for life, but instead, you chose to do the right thing. It's incredible. Of course. I have a team of decryption experts from Galbank itself on standby. If they can't decrypt that currency, no one can. I wasn't lying when I said that we had every contingency completely covered. Well, you came through. Now. On to other more pressing matters. We received confirmation that the fleet ships were scouts sent to probe our defenses. Unfortunately, one of them grabbed jumped away before you arrived. Which means that Delgado will have the Crimson Fleet prepping defenses of its own. Now get ready. I think Delgado already suspects what's happening. I've spent years studying the Crimson Fleet's tactics. Their decision to sacrifice those smaller ships told me everything I needed to know. That's the plan. Lieutenant, if you wouldn't mind explaining our strategy. Yes, sir. The Vigilance is equipped with the latest in hyper-resistant shielding, making it the only ship that can safely approach the key. The catch is, that the key has access to three orbital defensive batteries that can fire electromagnetic energy. One hit, and we lose those fancy shields. Our mission is to take out those batteries. In fact, I'll be personally leading the assault on Battery Alpha. I need you to be my support. Sadly, we didn't get as much support for this mission as I would have liked. There just wasn't enough evidence gathered. We weren't able to convince Mass to lend us additional squadrons. They feel like they've committed too many resources already. That means we'll have to take out all three batteries ourselves. It's unfortunate, yes. But we wouldn't be here if I didn't believe you could do it. We've also given you a call sign, Renegade, to help coordinate our movements during the attack. Once those batteries are destroyed, you board the key and bring Delgado to justice. You won't come quietly. You do what you have to do. No, I don't. I knew we could count on your support. Well, this is it. After years of planning, it all comes down to this moment. All my hopes and my best wishes go with you. Good luck. The station is on high alert ever since those scouts popped in. Every soldier here is ready to bring the fight to the fleet. Damn fleet scouts popped in right when you jumped in. That was... Good to be back.
Reavers dealing with your flagship as we speak. I wouldn't expect backup anytime soon. Gives me plenty of time to blow your ships out of the void. All right, Freight! Triple share to whoever takes the traitor down! All ships, defensive formations!
you take me to the nicest places? See if I have space for that. Done everything that we can do for Urban's case aside from knowing. Head to the dock. Sure. I hope the lawyer on Gagarin has time to review the okay, case before we Show arrive. You got.
Lucas! No! My luck to go out like this. Next stop, Gagarin. Certainly. Let's talk about something else. How did the Crimson Scar become the Crimson Fleet? After I busted out of the lock, I decided to take things to the next level. I had the key, a few UC ships, and a couple dozen ex-cons at my side. But I needed more, so I sent out the call. Once word got around, 
Didn't take long for freelance pirates from every corner of the seven systems to show up. And this is how the Crimson Fleet was born. Exactly. The key became our base of operations. We spent months reinforcing our position there, making it nearly impossible to approach. What was the UC's response to the situation? First of all, UC security gave up and handed the reins over to the big guns, the UC Navy. The Navy in turn sent ships to attack the key. I'd say there have been three major attacks over the last few years. And as you can tell by the fact we're having this interview, all the attacks were embarrassing failures. Do you feel these embarrassing failures led them to form UC systems? <laughs> Absolutely. They've clearly given up and decided to shove the responsibility onto a separate division. That way, in the public eye, the UC Navy can move forward proud and strong, while UC SysDef continually takes all the blame. It's all about PR spin for them, Gail. That's how the UC operates. Kinda disgusting, don't you think? Hmm. Sounds a bit like you're trying to deflect attention off the atrocities the Crimson Fleet commits on a daily basis. Atrocities, huh? How about fighting the Freestar Collective over a bunch of rocks hanging in space? How about thousands of people dying while a bunch of pencil-pushing bastards sit in a cushy office and draw lines on a star map? Maybe the United Colonies should stop the bullshit and take a hard look in the mirror to see who the monsters really are. Some people think this place is scary. It can be, for sure. You did this to me. Just regular people. Some good-hearted, others struggle with it. I can decrypt and re-encode thousands of credits in seconds, but something as simple as this, I didn't see it coming. Not in the slightest. And now because of you, my bomb's been activated. Which means I'm as good as dead. Simple. If I step one foot outside of this room, I'll explode, and that'll be that. So either I wait here until I starve to death, or I walk away and end it all. It's the Crimson Fleet's idea of punishment. Now that Sistef is here, the Crimson Fleet can't afford to have everything I know fall into the wrong hands. The moment the Vigilance arrived, Delgado pushed the button, which is as good as putting a gun to my head and pulling the trigger. Forgive me if I don't take you at your word, since you've been lying to me from the very beginning. I've paid you well, treated you with respect, and kept trouble off your back more than a few times. Look me in the eye and tell me why you've allowed this to happen to me. You owe me that much. As the fleet's reckoner, I didn't just deal with currency, I dealt with people. And some of those people target members of the Crimson Fleet and have them killed. We're not exactly welcome everywhere we go. 
Sending those people misinformation and clogging up their slates with garbage was almost a full-time job. That makes two of us. I don't know what I want you to say either. I never even expected to see you again. Well, now that you're here, I don't expect that you'll stay and watch my rather spectacular ending. So why don't you just get out of my sight and let me die in peace? After everything I just said, you'd still be willing to help me. I must be a complete fool. Because even though it makes no sense, I believe you. The only way to deactivate the bomb is through Delgado's computer and operations. You'll probably need his ID to get in. I don't know why you're helping me, but I sincerely hope this isn't another one of your tricks. You really think I'm that stupid? I have had eyes on you since you blasted your way aboard the key. And now, you 
It's obvious you've been working for Sistef all along. The game is over. I know what you are. Talk sense into me? You're the one who's lost their mind. What the hell happened to you? You had Krix's legacy in your hands, and you gave it away. For what? For honor? Justice? Yeah, sure. Like Ikande is going to shower you in credits for doing your duty like a good little toy soldier. Give me a break. You'll be lucky if he does any more than just pin a medal on your uniform and put your picture on SSNN. Looking out for number one, huh? So you did pick up some of my dirty habits. Maybe I taught you too well. You know, when we were on Suvarov, I saw the potential for you to become a badass pirate. One of the best. And now you suddenly expect me to believe I have been fooled the entire time? That this was some kind of elaborate game you have been playing? No. No way. For once in your life, be honest with me. Admit that you were tempted. Well, at least we know you are still human. It is obvious that no matter what I say, you have no intention of honoring our pact. You clearly never did. I have already locked down the key and set its reactors to overload. Soon, you, me, and everyone near this station are going to be vaporized. Let's see how far that loyalty to Sistef takes you now. And spend the rest of my life in the brig without a credit to my name? Why would I do that? And I suppose you want me to think it ends outside a prison cell and not in. Still, a prison door opens, just like any other. Better to be a martyr than waste away in some prison. Part of it, yeah. But can you blame me? When I found out you stole the legacy, my mind went into a blind rage. So yeah, maybe this is the pride that comes before the fall. Fine, you win. Standing down the reactors. With the legacy gone, we're dead in the water anyway. Before you have begun to lock me up, I'm gonna leave you with some parting words. Whether you know it or not, you're damn good at being it's in your blood. One of these days, that's all gonna hit you. And I'll be waiting for you in my cell to tell you I told you so.
so you disarm the bomb. Then, per our deal, you can tell your commander I will come peacefully. They always So fail. you disarm the bomb. Then, per our deal... We'll find a use for that stuff. Yes, there's still a lot of cleanup that needs to be done as we wind down this operation, but it's nothing we can't handle. Yes. What? Here comes one now. You know, I had my doubts about you. Vanguard, volunteer force, figured you for a tourist. But then I asked myself, as spectacular as I am, can I do what you do? And the answer was an emphatic no. See, I'm a great shooter, but a straight shooter. And that wasn't going to win this war. What we needed was someone standing on their side with a boomerang gun. We needed someone whose bullets curved. No ride like a blindside. That's what I say. Anyway, you got a date with the commander. I figure he'll sprain something trying to pin the medals on your chest. But in all honesty, you deserve it. Bravo! Back. Anything to report? I believe congratulations are in order. With this decisive blow, the end of the Crimson Fleet is all but assured. But as much as I'd like to begin this celebration, technically we're still in the process of wrapping up the operation. On that note, Lieutenant, what do you have for me? Reports are coming in right now, Commander. Delgado and Shinya Voss have been taken into custody. Also, we've transferred personnel to the Key to secure the location until the United Colonies decides what they want to do with the station. And what about Neva Mora? According to our reports, Neva led the strike force that attacked the Vigilance. Unfortunately, that was the last we saw of her. It looks like she managed to escape. We don't know her current whereabouts, but I have our operations team looking into it. That's fine. Overall, excellent news, Lieutenant. I have to admit, for the first time in seven years, I don't know what to say. How about you? I know that was difficult. You hanging in there? I certainly would have preferred to have reached a resolution regarding her whereabouts. After all, she was the fleet's second in command. Just watch your back. I'm fairly certain she's not going to simply forget what you've done to the Crimson Fleet. Let's not ruin the moment, Gillian. I'm sure our friend here is feeling quite pleased. Am I correct? I can understand that. 
The dual life you are leading must have been incredibly stressful. Honestly, I have no idea how you kept it all together. Well, let me let you in on a bit of a surprise. Something I've been working on for a while. I've twisted arms and cashed in some favors at Mast. I wanted to make sure you got a share of the money you recovered from the legacy. Call it a reward, a token of appreciation, whatever the hell you want. But you've absolutely earned every credit. We appreciate it, but if we did it for the credits, we probably wouldn't be talking right now. Well, yes, I believe it did. But even if the money is ever returned to its rightful owner, and I believe it will, eventually, I'm sure they'd agree you deserve your share. Don't thank me yet. If it had been completely up to me, you'd get a lot more than they're giving you. Now that you're rich and famous, maybe you'll still remember us little people, huh? Decorum, Lieutenant. Damn, I'm going to be really sorry to see you go. You've really become an important part of our team. It won't be the same around here without you. Although, if you feel like staying aboard, I'm sure I could give you access to the SysDef mission board. That is, if you can stand spending another minute with us on the Vigilance. Excellent. I'm happy we haven't somehow frightened you away. Anyway, enough talk. You've earned a break, and I'm sure you wish to celebrate. Here's your promised reward. And wherever you might find yourself, my best wishes travel with you. The mission board should provide you with any intel on fleet activity. Remember to turn in any evidence fragments you find. Well done. Let's see what you found. That's a hell of a story. I still can't believe Crix ended up being marooned on the Legacy. All that wealth, and the only thing he could do was stare at it. Can you imagine? I almost feel bad for him. He must have driven the guy crazy. Anything else? Understood. Keep searching and you're bound to find more. We'll be here if you need us. I can't believe it. I had a feeling we basically put an end to piracy. Me. Their remnants are still scattered across the galaxy, including Neva Mora. And beyond the Crimson Fleet, Piracy will always be an issue, so long as ships traverse on regulated space. In other words, it's not time to retire just yet. There is still plenty of work to do. Still on hold until we can get the politics sorted. Some of the officials at Mast have brought up concerns about returning the legacy to a collective we were just at war with. And to be fair, their point is not without merit. Should we go to war, Funds from the Legacy could lead directly to the death of our soldiers. There is also talk that the Legacy could be a bargaining chip in any future peace talks, and simply handing it over could cost us leverage. But regardless, two things will always be true. We will return the Legacy to its rightful owners, and Mast will dictate the terms. I will likely take a moment for myself drink to those we lost in this fight. If not for them, well, we would not have made it this far. This is their victory as much as it is ours. Dismissed. The Crimson Fleet is no more. Once news Beautiful. of the fleet's demise hits the airwaves, I imagine there will be a... Mast will have the ultimate say, but we petitioned to have it refurbished for Sistef use. But first, we'll need to perform an audit of the key's overall condition. Most of the repairs done to the station weren't exactly up to standard. If the site is deemed not up to code, we're better off destroying it. That would also have political value, given the embarrassing history behind it. For now, we have a strike team dedicated to sweeping the area for explosives. Once they give the all clear, forensics will come in to gather evidence. After that's done, then we'll start the audit of the station's condition. <laughs> it's a process.
Two reasons. First, Commander Akande is playing this operation extremely close to the vest. That means keeping prisoners under his own roof until this is resolved. Second, this is an undercover mission. For our safety and yours, we need to keep these prisoners out of the spotlight. That's right, since you're no longer undercover, you now have full access to our mission boards, just like other special agents. I get that. Completing the mission while having to balance different allegiances can be exhausting. Now, your objective is simple. Find the fleet and dispose of them. To that end, if you're in need of anything ship-wise, talk to me, and I'll have our maintenance crew take a look. No more bartering for scraps at the depot. You'll have full access to the best the UC has to offer. Certainly. How can I help you? All right, let's see what you need. We really took it to those pirate bastards, didn't we? to speak frankly, sir? Go ahead. What's on your mind? Well, I've got a kid on the way. And with the fleet gone, I'm worried about job security. There's other pirates in the galaxy besides the fleet. And besides, we just secured the legacy. Funding your salary will not be a problem. Claiming the key was a long time coming. Sir, if I may speak freely, is there a reason for the harsh reprimand? As far as I know, I just tracked a little mud into the grave. Soldier. Have you ever heard of Trenchfoot? Can't say that I have, sir. Well, they say guards on Suvorov would sometimes trudge through cold, frost-wet trenches on their daily patrols. Prolonged wetness led to circulation and nerve damage, a.k.a. Trenchfoot. Unable to perform, those guards were taken off duty, and security suffered, all because they didn't take the time to properly dry their feet. You see where I'm going with this, don't you? I do, but if I may, I would argue that we're not on some frozen planet, sir. But you tracked in mud from your last mission. 
you brought in any number of microbial life forms, known and unknown, into my brig. These are direct threats to the health and safety of this group, and by extension, the security of this brig. On my brig, cleanliness is a duty, and I suggest you take this duty seriously. And if not, I will have the commander relieve you of it. Yes, sir. Understood, sir. Congratulations on the Nice try, Rig. We both know you're as poor as the pot you piss in. Now that the fleet's done, I wonder where Mass will send the Vigilance next. Salutations. I assume you're here to commemorate my terrible misfortune? Ah, yes, the infamous evidence that you procured. Bravo, detective. Allow me to congratulate you on your sleuthing skills. That recording was quite a find. I must admit that I was short-sighted when it came to Ms. Swift's ingenuity. I shall not make that same mistake twice. Excellent. Excellent. Well, as much as I detest being the bearer of bad news, I have to disclose that you're wasting your time. You see, this imprisonment is merely an insignificant hindrance. I don't foresee being incarcerated in perpetuity. In fact, I would wager that my legal team will have my release expedited within the month. Ah, uh, I only had the time to explain the wondrous loopholes of the UC's justice system. Do you honestly think that I'd embark on an endeavor with Miss Swist? and Mr. Vera without a legal exit strategy at my disposal? I can assure you, I won't be imprisoned aboard the Vigilance for an inordinately extended period of time. Well then, allow me to reinforce your sensation of schadenfreude. Due to your actions, my tenure with Galbank has been terminated and several million credits in fines are being levied against me. The day is yours, Agent. You should be proud. You're quite welcome. Well enough, idle banter. I've taken up more than my share of your valuable time. Honestly, this interaction has been quite pleasurable. Do feel free to stop by and gloat at any time. Good day. Having you work with Sis Def has been an absolute pleasure. Never thought I'd have the infamous Delgado in my rig. You must be one hell of a negotiator to have talked him down. Delgado will likely stand trial to answer for his crimes. Given his record, I can't imagine he'll be standing for very long. I'm sure some of the others will interrogate. My job is to make sure none of them intimidate each other into staying quiet. Once we get planet side, we need to make sure the transport of these prisoners goes smoothly. The job's not truly done until their asses are parked in a maximum security prison. Really? I know you were headed to the key, but I didn't realize you'd actually get a chance to visit the lock. I almost respect the fleet for doing that. They're trying to pass down their history, or their version of it anyway. And 
how many times has he done that previously with other recruits? No. I'd say this was one part scavenger hunt, three parts history lesson. But all that aside, give me your honest opinion. What were the conditions like? I was afraid of that. I think I'm starting to fully realize the hand we played in all this. Truth be told, my ancestor was a god on Suvorov. Part of the reason I joined Sysdef was to find out more about his experience and whether the history books told the whole story. Which is why I'd like to hear Crick's side of it, if just to confirm what you saw. You're dismissed. 